What's up, Luke here, and you know, I, I know it's been seven days <laughs> since I last uploaded the, the robot explanation, but there's a reason. I've, I've been pretty busy catching up with the school after Mecha Mayhem, right? But, you know, here we are. We're, we're here with the finals, and I'm not only going to talk about the finals. I'm going to talk about some other stuff, right? Some, some stuff that I did learn at the event, right? So, you know, this is the, the first, like, actual high-level event that I, I've been to this season, and I think I did learn quite a lot, right? We went with a four-hour robot, a robot made, built completely in four hours, and autos that were tuned there. And we did surprisingly well, right? We, we went a nine and, and one in quals, right? Winning nine of our matches, and then we made semis, and we lost against Ace Robotics and Jaro, which I think we could, we, we pro probably could have won that match, right? We lost only because of auto. If the auto, if we won auto, we would have won that match, so... I will replay. Uh, actually, I'm gonna talk about I'm gonna talk about the finals first, right? So these final three finals matches were very very scuffed. That's why I didn't do them right away, quick. Because I was thinking, I was like, oh, should I should I do them? Should I not? I don't know. It was it was really really weird. They weren't very, they weren't very ideal, right? These matches, none of them were ideal. But the both the teams did play extremely extremely well here. So right, I think three of them were already role qualified, right? That being Ace Jar and Snack Cakes, right? Uh, all winning a sig prior, or actually, I think Jar was the only one who didn't win a sig prior, and you know, we have 1028 a who were not qualified, but extremely, extremely good, definitely deserved that spot to, to Worlds, but yeah, I think these first matches here, uh, we can see their auto, uh, we can skip a little bit, but you can see that, you know, the, the Ace and Jar has some incredible autos, you'll see them later, but the, 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 in the first match, their autos didn't work perfectly fine, right? Or they didn't didn't work properly, right? They didn't fully hit, so that's why Ace is up here in the in the negative corner, right? So you can see that uh, we can see we're gonna see a lot of goal steals, right? A lot of early goal steals, right? By Snaggy Cakes, I think every single time they just run in and steal that goal, right? I think the first uh, same thing happens here in my match here, uh, but however they do have a much better ending position in my match, right? Where you know my, my <laughs> no yeah no flame to. To, to my teammate 1020Z, but they do score two red rings in, in our autonomous routine, right? Against against Ace. So Ace has uh, like 10 or 12 red rings now, and we have like one. So uh, this is good. <laughs> They're up like 20 points after auto, right? And I, and I, we were able to make up that deficit quite well, right? Up back to like 10 or 12. So, you know, if the auto was a tie, I think we probably should, could have won as well. And if we won auto, we definitely would have won. So, and here we are. As the match starts in my match, I, I get straight through, and I still go right away. So you can see that, like you know, even against the best, some of the best teams in the world, it's not hard. It's not very hard to to steal goals, right? So you, I, right away, I take that goal, and I was able to you know keep hold of that goal for the rest of the match. And here's another match I played. So this one here, this is actually a a replay because we tied the match before. Right? These guys are you know some, some very very strong opponents, and no, the, no. Kudos to them. They, they played really well. But here, right? So our autos only, actually only scores like one ring, right? And that's kind of I think the, the the biggest weak point of our of our mat of our mecha performance was just our autos. They scored one ring, but uh, you know still still was able to carry us pretty far, right? Because of just in positions, right? So here, I I ended right right here, right right where where the goal is. Pretty much, right? Ready ready to grab this goal, right? So previous match, I went for this goal grab. Of course, 1023E also knew what I was going to do, right? You know, it was seen as imposition. Anybody can figure out what I'm going to do, right? So they, they they went and they, they protected this goal, right? I was able to, I was able to get their po uh, positive corner or, or go at the end, but, like, still, right? I, I still think that, you know, it's a little risky going for this match again. So what I did here was interesting, right? Because I haven't seen anybody do this before, right? But in a best of three finals, this could totally be played, right? Because, you know... The strategies in the best of three finals are sometimes evolving because of, you know, just be playing the same teams over and over again, right? So, you know, in this match here, you know, this is the second match, and I decided to change what I'm doing. Look at this. I went through the under section, right? And, you know, was able to, you know, <laughs> secure their positive corner, actually. So that's pretty interesting, right? And anyways, back to the finals, though. We're going we're gonna to watch these finals. We're not going to not gonna glaze over my matches no more gonna watch these finals so as this match starts you're gonna see uh, you know i don't exactly remember what happened because it has been a, a, a about a week but you know you're, you're definitely gonna see the the red team dash into the positive corner here that's exactly what they're gonna do every time yeah you can see that happen right here they're gonna fight for that third goal but interestingly enough i don't think oh no they're gonna go back first right i think i think if they didn't didn't go back first here they might have won that goal rush right because you know 
uh, Sam is such, such a good driver, All right? And also, you can see that this is okay. I think I think if they thought through this more carefully, they would have went head first into it, right? And maybe even try to tip it or just go past it and go for their goal, right? Because I, I would go past it because in this situation here, that goal is tipped up on on that on that ring, right? Very very hard to grab, especially for second kicks, right? So you know, definitely want to keep keep note of the entire situation always, right? And just knowing how how your robot functions, because here Jars would get that goal grab pretty easily, but snacky cakes can't because of that ring. You can see that that ring there really making it hard for them to grab that goal. And here, that's a crazy double possession right there. But anyways, the Ace and Jar do, do get DQ'd in this match because of that. But you know, you can it's still it's still good to note some some great defense out of here out of out of snacky cakes. But also, you can see that. Or offense, sorry. And you can see that Snaggy Cakes' offense allows their teammates, 1028A, to come really, really far out of their positive corner, right? However, I do think the right play here, right, if they would have gotten that ring, was to score wall stake, right? Because wall stakes are very important, especially early wall stake control, right? Making it really easy to defend. Because, once again, I, I mean, I'm going to bring the, this up, right, in, our, in my match against Ace and, uh, and Jar, right? That's why I did exactly. I scored an early wall stake on that, on that far. And you can see that later, I defended Ace for the rest of the match, and they didn't score a single wall stick on that goal. Or sorry, on, on, on that wall stick, right? You, know, you can see it just completely shutting them off there for the rest of the match, right? There's no wall sticks scored on on my on that one for the rest of the match. So, definitely, scoring an early wall stick is very, very important. Anyways, let me keep keep going. We're going to keep watching. So, 10-20 a day, you know? They, they couldn't need to get that positive corner right but it's okay though because like they don't need to get it super soon they want to get it pretty soon because snacky cakes is really making chaos over there in in blue positive corner right this is also a, a good time to point out how good this rush strategy is right it's mainly because if you rush that that corner right then that really screws up with uh with with blue's timing right or sorry, no, yeah sorry in this match with blue's timing but with your opponent's like timing of the of the of the swap and stuff. So I think in my match what would have been better is if I stayed in that corner, right? Cuz I think there's two ways I could have won this match even in, even a, a down 20 points in auto, right? And one of them was to stay in this positive corner. So I, I do rush and I steal their goal right away. But I think like I don't know, they had they had so many rings on this goal here. There there is almost no way. Uh I think I should have pinned one of them so my teammate would have gotten the swap, right? And yeah, because because I mean, Jar plays great defense here in this match, right? Really, you know, making me uh, there's no there's not really any any space open space here for for me to for me to go, right? I had to kind of get through them to just to, to you know mess with Ace's uh, Ace's swap here, right? You definitely want you definitely want to mess with the opponent's swap, I think, because you know, playing that is extremely yeah it'd be extremely nice. Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna skip forward a little bit in this match. Pretty much, right? Pretty much here, right? Snacky Cakes does do exactly what I say. And they were able to, you know, in their, like, in their, like, what do you call it? Trying of uh, messing with the positive corner control, right? They're able to actually steal that positive corner. And you can see that they're they're going to be able to, they're going to win this match effectively. Not, I mean, not only because of, you know, they don't even have a positive corner. It's because... The, the DQ. Anyways, we're going to skip forward to the second match. Pretty late match there. Here we are. I also want to know how how, how, how impressive Ace's Atomic routine is, right? And how good their, their ring rush is. Or, because, you know, that, that ring rush is what made my teammate miss all their rings in in our Atomic routine, right? So, you know, definitely ring rush, super good. I'll be making that pretty soon. But yeah, they have so many rings. They have, I think that's a 7 ring autonomous right ending with a filled goal, filled goal but i do like to point out that you know jar's ending position is not super great right this is not the best ending position right especially ending especially like if you know where, where the rings are going to go right every time since since you're tuning autos with a teammate this is not this is not amazing right and also this is not good because i mean you have the third goal right so why don't you just park yourself here instead why don't you like drive your robot here right and also if it's possible, right, you should drop this goal, like, here instead and drop 
these two and just try to clear these two rings out of the way right actually I mean, it doesn't even matter these two rings as long as this goal is here it's fine because they need to be able to get in that corner and they need to be able to come in and grab a goal really quickly right but these rings are in the way so you can see how how this starting position is going to really cause a problem for blue team right you can see that snacky cakes is really going to you know get through or i mean this actually they are going to be able to get through but you know jars gonna, uh, they're going to make it work but I think we're going to see them get through, definitely. I think that's just because, like I said earlier, again, putting Sammy as the as the defensive driver here, you can see Stagger Cakes literally just pulling them away. Right? Almost working here, actually. I think, I don't know. I think it might have been too risky for, for Seth to have come through and grab that goal, but their goal is wide open. I mean, actually, maybe he could have dropped his goal and tipped it with, uh, with uh, his Lady Brown, right? It might have worked. Yeah, he, he. that's exactly what he tries. Okay. Yeah, not wrong. But I think he went for a little, little bit too late there. And, oh, once again, his goal is completely, completely open now, right? I just think that, you know, a bunch of mistakes were made here in the, between the two lines this year. But this is kind of unfortunate. You see them get that grab, <laughs> but it falls out of their clamp, right? It would have been really, really funny if they, that, that, that was in. Right, but they they went and cleared that pause or that, that negative corner. Right, this is also kind of kind of kind of interesting, kind of smart here because he's already already on his way to the negative corner. So might as well just clear it and give himself some more more rings. Right, now here we go, bam, more scoring elements on the field. Right, pretty nice. Um, and you know, now we're gonna see it. We're gonna see. I think a pretty pretty crazy crazy maneuver out of out of ten twenty eight a. I think. Oh wow, they just uh, they just handed that goal over. We can see that no, this is the <laughs> crazy maneuver out of <laughs> Stacky Cakes here. Heading that goal over straight to Jar. And Jar is going to take advantage of that. Fill it up a little bit with uh, with the blue rings. But I think it's, I think something that I've done much better than these teams here in my qualifications is uh, the negative goal, negative corner goals, right? Because he totally could have played negative corner here, but he didn't, right? I mean, this, this, this goal... Was a was a red goal, right? There's a there's what one blue ring on it and two red rings on it, right? I think what he could have done is it'd have been a much higher swing if he just would have filled it up with a uh, with all red goal or red rings and ne negative corner, did, right? Because you know if you think about it, that also gives red a lot less rings to play wall sticks with later because that means three of these rings would be gone. They only have one, right? And you just throw it into the corner. And you play you play zone defense from the negative corner, right? That's a new thing I I learned. Zone defense from negative corner that is huge. Anyways, if you stayed this far in the video, thanks for watching, right? Drop a like, you know, comment down, right? What you want to see next, right? Do you want to see rumbles or maybe riverbots, right? I've got some people asking for riverbots. But yeah, if you want to see that, that'd be pretty cool. And if you want to, you know, subscribe as well, it'd be nice. Anyways, you can see Snacky Cakes getting that go, go, go again out of every single time, right? This, this These finals are aren't a super great showing of exactly what optimal play is, right? But anyways, right, especially especially here, uh, I think that's a... Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know why Snacky Cakes didn't just stay in that corner, because they got fully in that corner and they, they, they left the corner. So, anyways, these aren't super, super interesting matches here. But you can see that this is a kind of crazy call. I really expected that goal to be off the ground, right? You can see it leaves a clamp. But I, I guess I guess it's I guess it wasn't off the ground. I don't know. I guess the the high strain shaft that Jar has, you know, propped it up a little bit. But yeah, you can see uh, Ace won. Uh, Ace and Jar won this match, and the finals match, finals three. I'm gonna just skip forward because uh, this video has been pretty long already. So we're not gonna watch uh, all the scuff moments. We'll just watch some some of the highlights and I'll kind of just show you about the highlights here. You can see that Stanky Cakes steals a goal again, right? Per usual, and. Um, yeah, we're gonna see a pretty pretty nice swap out of out of out of ten twenty eight a. However, Jar is gonna be able to start a goal, and then ten twenty eight has has such a good vision, right? Bam, right. I kind of I remember talking about this a couple of times in my past videos, right? About what the drive team is doing, right? And I think that the red alliance and the blue alliance both has a really strong right awareness of what's happening. Well, not really in the sense of like their own defense, but really offensive, right? These both of these teams are, are alliances are super offensive. Bam, are right? calling it out, and right away you're gonna see 10 28 grabbing that goal, and yeah, now now you can see that 
blue or red has two two of the blue goals and they have both positive corners, right? Definitely looking really unwinnable for the blue lines. And what I think should have happened here, right? I think that 1020 Day should have left earlier. They should have left earlier and at least secured a positive corner, right? If they because because I think if they should have left like like right now. We're not right now, maybe maybe a little later. I think like yeah, maybe right now. I don't know. I, I th- yeah, right now. I think they they should have left right now. Or this is a little, this is also too late. But they want to find a time where 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 they can leave because these guys have to drop their goal to to grab your or to flip this one or to, or to swap this one, right? I think they're a little too scared of the positive corner, which is totally t- totally makes sense, right? But if they but if they left, it'd be so much easier for them to get into the positive corner, right? So I think there's a there's definitely a time here that they could have left to get those negative corners. But you can see that, you know, right here, right here is where they leave, which they don't for some reason, which I, it makes no sense. Oh, oh, um, I mean, okay, I, I get it. All right, uh, Seth told me that their drive train was cooked. One of the motors fell off, right? So, you know, this is kind of unfortunate in this situation, right? But I think that they definitely should have left at thirty-one, right? And they would have, if they had, a, if they had a fully functional drive train right here, they would have beat Jar to that positive corner and won the one match. But you can see that. Jar and Ace, both, they they both went to the went to the corners there, right? And I don't know why they left this far. Like, I don't know what's going on because like there's no way this match was losable for for Blue at this point, right? Because they have four ring top control, right? Four top ring control. Even if Red fulfilled those walls like that, they wouldn't have won. So he left this corner and really made it, really really made a made kind of a mistake there. But I mean, it's not a matter though because of those rings in the way, right? Those rings in the way really. Really causing a big issue to to Red Alliance there, right? Red Alliance kind of kind of falling apart here, trying to make make the rest happen, and unfortunately they're even going to score another top ring for Blue, and yeah, that's going to be over, right? We're going to see Jar and Ace winning, but I think a lot of mistakes were made here, and I think that's if you have the right strategy, right, and good good autos, right, you can beat pretty much anybody. It's really not that hard, but yeah, these matches were were quite packed, so. I'd suggest you know rewatching some of these, rewatching my video probably, and thank you.